Hi guys, welcome to Endeavor OS. As you can see, at some point in time, I've uh, used the I think it's Cassini, the last uh, name of Endeavor OS, and chose to install i3 because that's all I've got, I think. So if you do a list of the user share, oops, share and then X sessions, then you know that I only have i3. I want to make a video later on, next video, and how to build Arclix uh, ISO on Endeavorous, like I've made videos on Garuda, like I've made just now on Archcraft. We're not there yet, right? We're just on i3, and i3 is not my configuration, it's a configuration from the guys of Endeavor OS, meaning Super Enter is a is a um, terminal, Super Q is working, Super Shift D is not, but Super D is working, and I have to figure out and learn the key bindings of somebody else. Now, I can combine this video, well, the, the target is let's build an ISO on Endeavor OS. I can um, use this to do the following. If I go for Firefox and I tell you that we can install anything of Arclix on any Arch based system, then you know already where I'm going to. The Arclix Spices application or ASA install our Arclix packages, so also Arch Linux um, tweak tool. But first we need to tell the system, hey system, there are the keys, there are there's the packages. Well, Pac-Man just needs to know all of it. Now, this is not what I wanted, probably, yeah, it's here. So open terminal is, is fixed on a workspace, as you see. I rather like it to be next to it, but it's not, all right? It's not, but there you go. We're in download, sudo pacman minus u, Arcling Spices. I install this thing and then we have a menu spices you can launch this and it's just a big fat button that says go get me everything and install me everything and when it says here at the end or something done update now that's the message then you say update but update is an alias so you need to remember the content of our alias so suddenly there is three lines more. This is pure arch. This is of course Endeavor. This is pure arch and this is us. So we need to update the theme. So fine, go ahead. So it's all arch. Yes, it's all arch. Arch link ski ring is coming in. So that's good. But we want to go for the arch links tweak tool so I can have my XFCE and maybe a bash or c so update and up all and a rip and all that that it works almost there voila so yay is there okay we need something right so the arshlinks tweet tool can be actually installed with just Pac-Man, no need for yay at this point in time, but we do need it if we want something from the AUR. So that's going to be installed. And from here, we venture our way into the world of ArchLinux slash EndeavorOS. What I do want to have is something else, right? Not i3, not the i3 of um, Arclix, because hey, that would be silly. Uh, just learn and see how the code of Endeavor OS is. And if you like it, you keep it. Let's just, just install XFCE, a very simple and let's do that. I can't reboot my friends, I'm making a video. Doesn't he know that? So. If we do a content of this one again, I have XFCE if I log out. So that's one thing. I have my XFCE if I want to. And if I want more, like I'll have to reboot later on. If I want more, then I can get the shells. So the bash is already installed. 
patch completion we can remove it we can get the patch rc the up all and update and all that that's in and all the extras as well select them all x pack rip grab all things that we need inside um well the aliases that we use and there we go so you can always follow if you launch it like this the att you see what's going on right gives a better feeling okay this is installed that's installed don't know this what's that and then you look it up and voila you learn so anything else i would like i don't think so what's in the auto start the firewall applet so i'm removing the firewall applet because i'm not a firewall fan pacman minus remove firewall d there he is gone now I do wonder if there is a system ctl status firewall thingy yep there is so stop or disable the firewall mm, status let's ask the status then status firewall d invalid service whatever i don't want it <laughs> get rid of it so if i can't can i stop it i can can i disable it later on i can't disable it but it's stopped that's at least something so i wonder in the etc system d system we've got this and yeah and let's go for the the multi-user target once there he is so there is the beginning delete delete remove what no pseudo remove and and then whatever you want to remove which is in my case file d service that's gone so that's something i want to get rid of and i think we're ready to kind of uh let's see exact bash update is working rip is working and off we go so this is enough for me to to get things working and then later on build in the next video you can build any Arclinux iso any of the 40 isos or something that we have on endeavor os and that's what we're gonna do in the next video after reboot